I am not survival and Hi, I'm North Survival and today I'm going to show you my top 5 fire survival hacks. Just a quick word before this video starts. As I'm sure you've seen on many other channels, YouTube has acted funny lately. It has uh, unsubscribed people from channels without their knowledge and uh, done a lot of stupid stuff. So if you want to make sure that you get my videos when I post one, you're going to go to the little notification bell next to the subscribe button and click it. And since it's Christmas time soon, I'm going to be giving away a Christmas gift containing some awesome stuff. And if you want to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is leave a thumbs up on this video and uh, write a comment down below, whatever you want. And I will be contacting the winner in one week. The first thing we're going to do is to start the fire with the pen. So if you can't get a fire going, maybe everything is too wet, you can use a permanent marker. And all you do is cut off the bottom. And then you remove the inside. And this inside part contains a lot of alcohol, so it's a great fire starter. Chips taste great, but they're also very flammable. So in the next hack, we're gonna use them to start a fire. Chips are a great fire starter. Regardless if you are in a survival situation or just want to try a fun thing. They contain a lot of oil which makes them really flammable. This next hack will really help you boost your fire by using nature's own gasoline, spruce resin. And if you are careful and remove this outside layer, you will not hurt the tree. So now I have gathered some spruce resin and this is really great to get your fire going if you have a hard time to light it. And we're just gonna pour it on. And you can see when this stuff burns, it burns like gasoline because it contains so much tar and turpentine. And another cool thing about spruce resin is that it melts when you heat it up. So I usually make candles out of it and they work just like a real candle but on steroids. The next thing we're going to make is a tuna candle. I'm sure you've seen this many times before, but in this version I'm gonna make it a lot more efficient. This is tuna in oil, and the way you make this candle is by punching a hole in the top of the can and then putting in a wick. But to make this more efficient we're gonna use three wicks. That's gonna suck up oil from different parts of the can. So you shouldn't really use your knife for this, but I was going to sharpen this knife anyway. And now we're going to put in the wicks. So now it has sucked up some oil and we're going to light it. So this is obviously just a cool thing to try. But the best part is that you can eat the tuna afterwards. In the last of my fire hacks, I'm gonna show you how to start your fire with your mind. And you need two things for this. You need a very, very dry tinder and you need to concentrate really, really hard.
So the last hack was obviously a joke for those of you who didn't understand that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, remember to leave a comment and give it a like if you want to enter the giveaway. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.